before I dive in, folks, I want to remind you guys, we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So if you're really enjoying all of the content, you're enjoying the Switch 2 stuff, you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest things going on with Nintendo, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Now, we got to go ahead and dive into this because, look, I, this is an interesting situation. It actually is information that is seemingly leaked from an accessory manufacturer named MomaPad. I have one of their controllers right here. Uh, they have actually deleted the post and now has since said, look forward to updates in early May, which does suggest Nintendo may be actually announcing or saying something about Switch 2 at that investors meeting, but you don't have to rely on deleted posts for this. We actually have the bird himself, P. Yoro, the most reliable Nintendo leaker of all time, commenting on this and saying that he too has heard about this particular information. And we're not even going to reference the deleted post, although I'll link to it down below on MobaPad's Facebook page. We're actually going to go over to a My Nintendo News article who has all the information right here. It says Nintendo Switch accessory manufacturer seemingly post details on Switch 2. So again, as I said, this comes from MobaPad. It was on their Facebook page. It has been deleted, but here's what the post said. The Bluetooth chip of Switch 2 will support existing Joy-Con and Pro controllers and still features HD vibrations, ALPS dual access, linear motors. What's not included in here is they actually said that the motors would be a little bit smaller in the new Joy-Cons. So that's pretty exciting and that all of their accessories will remain compatible. And so Switch 2 has backwards compatibility with Switch 1 cartridges, but Switch 2 cartridges will be different and won't fit into a Switch 1. They also note that the back compatibility is not just physical it's also digital so our digital libraries will be able to be brought forward uh, the new joy cons are larger and are magnetically attached to the console with an electromagnet the sl and sr buttons are metallic now uh, that is like the metal being sucked in for the magnet and there's a new button behind each joy con where uh location where the button is uh, we'll just kind of click on this right there. So they got an image there. Kind of show them where the location of that new button is on the back of the Joy-Con. And then it says a new button below the home button on the right Joy-Con. And then there's where they're saying that location is. Now it says the dock will still be a USB-C port and also support for K, uh, so that's pretty fascinating. It says the new kickstand also has a damping bracket on the back for improved angle adjustment. And the screen is bigger, up to eight inches with the resolution upgraded to 1080p. That is the general stuff you see here. This is gonna link back to the original post uh, over on Billy Billy, but it's, it's actually literally comes from uh, a Facebook page. And I don't wanna dive too much deep into the Facebook page stuff, because again, the post went up last night. I actually emailed MobaPab myself to confirm, one, it was their Facebook page, and two, it was their post. So I'm probably the reason that they maybe got rid of that post. But setting that aside, because they did confirm to me. I got emails back confirming it was their page and was their post, and this was information that they had. Uh, but then they got rid of the post because I, you know, they probably weren't supposed to say anything yet. Here's what I do find interesting, though, is the bird has spoken. Pioro has been DM'd many times about this particular news, and he has responded officially saying that he too has heard of this, but he's not 100% verifying it. Here's what he had to say. To those sending me this via DM, and this is that exact article, it's one reason why I showed it, it appears that this info has been divulged to some manufacturers and Nintendo influencers in China, which... The influencers in China probably would have been informed by the manufacturers themselves, of course. Like, that's... Nintendo probably didn't reach out to them. Nintendo's got kind of a rocky relationship with some Chinese companies. So, them not respecting Nintendo and letting influencers know, you know, people like us, not shocking. Anyway, such info has been mentioned in some private discussions while my main source can't verify it. So, one, Pioro is confirming he's got multiple sources. Two, he's saying that he's actually heard about this and is known for it for a little while, just didn't share the information, and that his primary source, you know, the one that probably gives him all the Nintendo Direct info, can't verify it. What's also interesting is it's either can't or won't verify it, right? Like, can't verify something either means the source doesn't know anything about the new system, which is entirely possible. If they only work in marketing, they may not know about the new system, 
Or if they do, they just won't verify, right? So, like, you know, it, maybe crossing the line with hardware is not something his source is willing to do. He also says, I mean, such info has been mentioned in some private discussions before this report. So before this news ever broke out, Piero knew about this stuff. That's essentially what he is saying, although he can't verify it with his main source. So I do find this all to be fascinating. Obviously, this brings a lot more to the discussion table. One, Piero has not really referenced and talked about a lot of the Switch 2 rumors out there. He's kind of set aside an ignored a lot of that stuff but he specifically isn't ignoring this one because it is actually something he's heard and known about and because it wasn't verified with his main source he didn't want to put it out there and Pioro's never really leaked hardware stuff anyways he's always stuck to the software side of things so I just find all of this to be really fascinating this to me might be the largest single biggest leak coming out just because one Pioro is willing to discuss it which adds not a firm validity to it, but does at least say, hey, if his sources, who have obviously been proven to be pretty reliable, are like saying this and have heard this stuff, and he's explaining how this information got out, right? He, he's literally saying that, hey, this stuff was like divulged to some manufacturers in China, which makes some sense, and that they ended up coming out to influencers, from the manufacturers to the influencers in China. That's why this information's out there. Honestly, one, it explains the supply chain command, like how this got out, right? It originated from Nintendo, but it was Nintendo telling supply chain suppliers, like, hey, we're gonna, we got to manufacture things. We got to do this. We got to do that. That going kind of down the chain. So it also kind of shows, and if you guys don't recall, there's a post by Jason Schreier over on Gaming and Leaks Reddit. Just to kind of bring this into context, by the time you guys are hearing about this, we, you guys are probably hearing this now third, maybe fourth hand, right? Originally was Nintendo, and then it went to manufacturers next, and then from them, you know, because Nintendo's first hand, right? Direct knowledge. Manufacturers are second hand, and then it went to Nintendo influencers with its third hand, and then it went to, uh, you know, these reports, which is fourth hand, and now I'm fifth hand, depending on how it went. Like, if the information actually came from manufacturers, then I'm fourth hand, the reports being third hand. Then again, MobaPad themselves put it out. They are a manufacturer of Switch products, so potentially uh, they might have been second hand and now i'm third hand so it's all kind of all over the place the point is the chain of command of where this information came from seems pretty damn clear and that chain of command also seems to make this information highly likely to be true now again this is still a rumor can't be verified even though we now understand where it came from we now have multiple people sort of talking about it and saying they've heard about it so i'm just going to leave this out there uh, no one, none of the other known insiders like Nate the Hate and others have really denied any of this stuff. So we're just going to sit back and say, of all the rumors and stuff we put out there, this one is seemingly coming from manufacturing, which seemingly originated from Nintendo themselves. That seems to be the traced line of command. Thanks to Pioro for pointing that out. And I am really, really thrilled that we're talking about something that feels tangible. Like we're not getting exact specs in video games and stuff, but hearing about the 1080p screen Seeing the magnet stuff re-backed up, but this way in a more explained way on how it kind of works and how it's an electromagnet and the SL the SL uh, ZR buttons, SLSR buttons are metal, so that would make a lot of sense to make the magnets work. Uh, you know, hearing about just just in general some cool things with the dock and uh, still using USB C, which is obviously a good thing. And look, all of this is just good news. Backwards compatibility probably being your biggest takeaway. So. Thank you guys so much uh, for watching this video. And I want to address something just quick, just real quick, real quick. I know this is my second video on this topic. One, I wasn't proud with the quality of my first topic. Two, um, I showed DMs uh, in my original video, which uh, weren't none of them were super bad, but I, I didn't feel comfortable with the fact that I actually showed my private DMs for a moment. There was nothing bad in there, but, you know, there's people that are sending me and discussing things with me privately all the time. I really shouldn't show that kind of stuff. I don't mean the DM of the person who helped me find the story. I just mean the DMs of the other people that were shown on my DM list. And then on top of that, I just wasn't happy with the quality of the video. And then lastly, Pioro spoke out since I recorded the video. And Pioro is a much grander authority on this than even that damn Facebook page. So I just wanted to... Uh, put together a more well-rounded video instead of having to release a second updated video or just go quick live with a live stream, which we still might do later, but after things have settled down. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.